Hello friends and welcome back to my cottage. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how we installed our very own semi in-ground pool. This is just one project that we've completed to start the beginning of our backyard oasis. So come along and we'll show you how we completed this project. If you're going to dig, you have to call 811, which is the call before you dig number. And these guys come out and they just mark where all of your underground power lines are if your lines are in the ground. It only took them a couple of hours to do this and we were able to see exactly where we could and could not put our pool and put our deck. So here my husband is just measuring and then he is going to outline with uh, white paint where our pool is going to go and where our deck is going to go. So this orange line shows where a previous uh, telephone line was that is no longer being used. So we're actually going to put the pool on top of this line and uh, take this line completely out since it's not needed anymore. We ordered a 12 by 24 foot oval pool from the pool factory. So my husband is digging the hole himself with his tractor and this saved us anywhere between three to four thousand dollars, maybe even a little bit more. If we would have had someone to come out and dig this hole for us, it would have cost us quite a bit more money. Our backyard slopes and ha is a huge hill, um, so we're digging a hole that starts out at about one foot at the beginning and goes back to about four foot. So the pool is semi in ground, but not all of it will be in ground at the same depth because our backyard is a hill. It took my husband about three days to get the hole completely dug, and that was just working in the evening. So it didn't take us quite as long as what we had thought. My husband is now measuring. We also made sure the hole um, was wide enough to leave two to three foot on each side of the pool. And that way we can add a drainage system all around the pool once it is up and in place. And this is the pool being delivered to us. So it arrived probably about three days after we ordered it. So it was super fast and the whole pool is wrapped in this tiny package. And now we are leveling the ground. This was some hard, gruesome work. Blood, sweat, and tears went into making this whole level. We had to get out there and chop up huge clumps of dirt. Uh, we had to add dirt, take away dirt, um, whatever was needed to get this level. We also bought a, a kind of like a radar reading level, uh, which beeps to let you know if uh, various areas of your ground is level or whether you need to add or take away dirt and then my husband bought just a standard level that he read himself so all of the levels that you can get get those they will greatly help you you want a level pool so that once you get all that water added it doesn't collapse and we got our kids involved in this project as well. They wanted to help. They were so excited to finally be getting a pool of their own.
and you can never measure too many times. Measure, measure, measure. And now my husband is taking blue paint and he's marking where the pool is gonna go inside of this hole. Again, leaving two to three feet on each side to install a drainage system. And now we're taking a trip to the rock quarry to buy our sand for the bottom of the pool and to buy pea gravel to go around the outer walls of the pool to create that drainage system. We rented a dump trailer and we went and picked up the sand and the pea gravel ourselves and this saved us about $150. And now we are unpackaging the pool. So we're making sure all of our parts are in here and reading through all of the directions. After reading directions and watching many videos on proper installation, my husband is now putting together the buttresses of the pool. So these are the main support system for your pool walls. And now we are putting those buttresses up and making sure they're all level and that they are the right space apart from each other. Again, this video is sped up. It is not a how-to video on how to uh, put a pull in. We are not professionals, so we want to leave those types of videos up to the professionals. So this is just a little sneak peek into how we put ours up. And now we are digging out uh, trenches for, to set the buttresses in so that they are flush with the ground. Again, more back, back breaking work and a lot of sweat. This requires a lot of patience, but the end result is so worth it. Again, everything is dug out and setting flush with the ground. And now we have our metal pool walls up. This was the hardest part other than digging everything out. And we, are, uh, we bought extra lining uh, for the bottom, which is this black pad that you saw that lays on top of the sand. We also bought padding for the metal uh, pool walls. 
and we bought these foam liners to go around the edges so all of these things will protect our pool liner and was definitely worth the extra time and extra money and now we are adding a little bit of water into the bottom of our pool uh, so that we can get the liner uh, snug and tight to the walls and we're also using a shop vac. We reversed it and this is suctioning our pool liner to the walls as the water fills it up. You can see the shop vac there. And this created a wrinkle free professional looking liner. And then we ordered water uh, to fill our pool up with. We have well water, so we wanted to make sure that our water was clean and that we didn't have to add a bunch of chemicals to our pool. Uh, so we spent about $300 having purified drinking water delivered to fill our pool up with. I think we ordered about 7,000 gallons in total. And our pool is complete. It took us about two weeks from the time we started digging the hole until there was water in the pool and we were swimming. Uh, so not very long at all considering we only worked in the evenings after work. Our kids are loving the pool and we're so excited that we took on this project ourselves. It took us about $850 to install, install the pool ourselves uh, compared to probably six or seven thousand dollars which is what we would have paid to have had someone from the pool factory to come and install it for us so again a lot of hard work but we saved ourselves a lot of money and we have about seventy two hundred dollars in this project with all of the tools and the pool itself so we saved about ten grand doing this ourselves and now we just have to build our deck and the pool will be completed. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within.